Hey everybody, it's Will. Today we're doing part one of our Bokashi composting. Um, we're going to be making our effective microorganism inoculant. Um, Bokashi is a method of composting where you use inoculated wheat bran that's inoculated with living microorganisms to compost things. Um, it's not so much composting as much as it's inoculating. Uh, it becomes a soil amendment because you would then add the inoculated compost into your soil and over time it would slowly compost, slowly release nutrients. So this is what we're going to be using in our layering that we're going to be doing outside with wood chips and all that good stuff with the fungus. Um, but we're going to be building soil, so we're going to be doing some Bokashi composting. So the first step in our Bokashi effective uh, microorganism inoculant is rice. We're going to need a quarter cup of rice and then a cup of water. And what we're going to do is we're going to let this rice ferment. And this is the first part of our uh, microorganisms. Um, you're going to want to use dechlorinated water because we need to keep these microorganisms alive. The next step will be to add milk for the lactobacillus. But we, let, we need to let this rice water ferment for about a week. So this, we're going to do this in a part, so if anybody wants to follow along, they can follow along, and then part two we'll be adding the milk. Um, so what we're going to need to do is get a quarter cup of rice. Uh, we have organic white rice. Uh, we just want to make sure it's organic so it doesn't have any uh, herbicides or pesticides or anything like that on it that would uh, disturb our bacteria, our microorganisms. We're going to put, we have two containers here. This quart jar is what we're going to let our rice water ferment in. This, this container we're going to get our rice water. So you add your quarter cup of rice, then you add a cup of water, dechlorinated. Alright, you can see the water starting to turn a little bit white. And that's what we want. So what we're going to do now, next step, it's just to close up our container and shake it vigorously until the water is very gray and murky. All right, so we have gray, murky, cloudy water. We're gonna take our strainer Place it over our mason jar. And we're going to strain out this rice. All right. So we have this rice water. And all we have to do is let this ferment in a cool, dark place for a week. So part two, we'll be doing the next step to creating our effective microorganisms for Bokashi. If you have any questions or comments, throw that down. Uh, if you like this video, hit thumbs up, share on Facebook and Twitter. Stay tuned to follow us on our uh, Bokashi composting.